Welcome to Sports with Charity Chambers. Charity. Sports with Charity Chambers. Now here's your host, Miss Charity Chambers. Hi, I'm Charity Chambers, and I am here with former NFL player Baron Wortham, and I'm so glad you could be here with me today. So I kind of want to, before we talk about your time in the NFL, I want to talk about growing up in the biggest football state there is, Texas, and I heard you telling the kids you started off at age seven. So what influenced you in, in starting off at age seven? Um, I think as a kid growing up, um, I always watched like NFL football highlights on Sundays. Uh, me and my brother, and my brother was a big football player, so I wanted to be like him. So, but when I first saw NFL highlights, I mean, and I saw people like, and I'm saying OJ Simpson, and I know he's a, that, you don't want to say that name, but those are the people that we saw. We saw OJ Simpson, we saw the Steelers, we saw the 70s Cowboys, and those people, they influenced uh, me um, to want to play football. I mean, I just, just something I wanted to do. And I said, well, mama, I'm going to play football, I'm going to buy you a van. And, you know, it just kind of like morphed into that. So starting off at age seven and then going on to play, I'm sure you played in middle school and then high school. Tell me about your time playing in high school. I know you went to Everman. So tell me what your time was like in high school. Uh, high school was great. That was probably some of my fondest memories of football ever. And I can recall one particular game when we had the number one game in the state of Texas. It was versus Brewer High School. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> And it was, yeah, it was crazy. And it was like we're, both teams were six and up. And it was at our field, and it was so crazy there. They had to bring in extra stands. It was one of the, the greatest experiences of my life. We actually won the game, I think, 13 to 10. So it was a close game. So, I mean, it was just something I'll never forget. Wow. So going into college, you know, from high school to college, I'm sure that must have been a transition for you. So how did you make that adjustment, not only in academics, but also in the football world? Uh, you know, the transition for me, um, it wasn't too bad. You know, when I first went there, I was injured. So I ended up injuring my leg um, in, a, in an all-star high school game right before I went to, to college. Mm -hmm. But once I got in there, it was fine. I think the biggest transition part for me that, that I struggled with was the academic piece. Uh, once I got things right academically, I, it was fine. It was a good transition. And I also know you played in the Super Bowl. You started in Super Bowl 34, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so tell me, what was that experience like? Like, that's really the biggest football stage anyone could ever be on. So what was that experience oh, like for you? Wow, that was crazy. I mean, it really was. It was probably one of the most ex greatest experiences, probably next to my, my Brewer High School experience, okay? I put that right up there because, yeah, it was a, I mean, we're talking about a worldwide stage here. Uh -huh. And it was, I, I was like, man, this is nothing. This is all hype. And then when you get there, it, it's all that and a bag of chips, I'm telling you. <laughs> so after your seven years in the NFL, I believe, so how did you adjust to life after football, after playing football? Because I know since seven years old, you played football and now all of a sudden you're not playing anymore. So was that a hard time or were you just like, well, I know it's my time to stop? Oh, it's, it's difficult for any player. I mean, the game's over. You did it since you were a kid. For me, it was really difficult because, you know, I continued to work out for two years thinking I was going to get on with the team and it didn't happen. Um, that's why it's so important for players, you know, this next generation of players that they understand, hey, you know, when you get done, already have a plan in place so you can make the transition smoothly. It wasn't smooth for me because I didn't plan for that because I thought I could play forever. So you said you didn't really transition well, but now it seems like you're doing great. So what exactly are you doing now? Well, right now what I'm doing, um, I'm doing coaching. All right, I do football coaching, um, BW Football Academy. I started it three years ago. And, and the reason why I started it, because when I was going to a lot of these high school games, on, and I just saw the fundamentals, they weren't being taught. So what I do, I do progressive football training, and I use, I, it's, it's normally an, uh, a 12-week program that I do, and I teach them everything from proper warm-ups to stretching, footwork, weightlifting, everything, but the technique thing, that, that's what I'm really pushing, and fundamentals, because that's what they need. I start them off early, like from six to seven years old, 
all the way through elite athletes, pro athletes. I could train them to, you know. So, hey, if you want to train, come come talk to me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Mr. Worthen, for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Hey, I had fun. Yeah, thank you. It begins the play from the line of scrimmage. And the line of scrimmage is just where the ball starts.